this is my current situation. And actually, I'm getting ready to record two short little stints in here because there are two different messages. <laughs> and um, I think they just need to be separated. But yeah. Sometimes we get caught up and um, laundry seems to be the um, the bane. But you all know I have shared this uh, laundry before and let you know how I do laundry and pull things out of the dryer and fold them. That way I don't have baskets and I do laundry every day. Because I just don't like to let laundry pile up in a basket. And um, because it'll sit there. It'll sit there. And honestly, it doesn't take a lot to stop what you're doing. Or I, For me, I get up in the morning before everybody and start my laundry. I will. Um, and if I have to, get some in at night. So that I'm not really um, interrupting anything. And it's not really an interruption. Laundry just happens. You just have to do it. The laundry room is on the way to the library, which is our school room, on the way to the bathroom. So either way, I am in those rooms constantly. So it doesn't take a lot to stop, switch out laundry, and get it done. I don't let laundry consume me. I never have. And keeping things to a minimum, clothes and things, don't keep too many clothes. That way you don't have to worry about being so overwhelmed. That's just one of my little things that there are a lot of other things that, um, you know, little setbacks. And I'm getting ready to get into that. But um, don't make it, you know, work smarter, not harder. Don't make it so hard on yourself. Ladies, mommies. <coughs> so I'm in here because... The inevitable happen. The lid switch. Yeah, it's dirty in there. Because it's been sitting. Um, I wiped it down. But because it's been sitting. Um, the lid switch. And I had the lid switch replaced earlier this year. Lid switch is very delicate. Needless to say, somebody was climbing on my washer, which I don't allow. And that's what happened the last time. So, um, it's, a, it's a $10 part that has to be ordered. And if I'm doing laundry every day, the first day, laundry was done. But by the second day, that's massive. So, and... Um, you know, every day thereafter, it just piles up. But I had to decide if I wanted to actually wait for the part to come in and then um, pull it apart. And it's not that hard. It's just take these panels off and rotate this and pull out the, the casing. But, um, or did I want to get another one? So, a repairman probably cost you $80 <laughs> for a $10 part. Um, and so that was my thing, but what I'm saying is we're busy and we don't like to have to, uh, you know, setbacks just, they throw curveballs, but they happen. And I always expect the unexpected. That's just me, you know, um, and this is something I see all the time. Washers and dryers go out, you know, you need repairs. And a lot of times people fall apart because this is like. the uh hub of the house okay i would replace this then to pay my phone bill that's just how important the wash and dryer is to me it's very valuable i would replace this then to go out take myself out and you know go out to eat or buy something you know i don't know what we like jewelry clothes shoes um planners i don't know ladies you you know what you like get your get your nails done whatever this above everything because if I can't do laundry 
that's a problem and that's going to drive me crazy and the other things are far more material and they can be purchased at any time um but this right here this is this is i consider a necessity okay um especially in i, I don't even want to say a large family in any family um but yeah we've we've gone the gamut on washers i've done the front loader when they first came out and I switched to top loader because of the um, diapering the kids, the cloth diapers. You have to have a top loader. They work best in top loaders. So, but anyway, because my little kids are very hard on things, if I could just keep them out of here, which, you know, is impossible, then I wouldn't worry about it. But um, I'm waiting on... delivery so i'm happy today i'm happy <laughs> blessed thankful and everything else i'm going to be the last time i had this issue it took me 24 hours of straight washing the ketchup and so i'm anticipating the same thing there's laundry there's linen just everything and see that's the bad that's the the major part the linen the clothes i could deal with i'm not um immune to the laundry situation you know temporary temporarily because you know a long time ago before washers and dryers <laughs> and i that's not even a long time ago but you know so many people they just you know washers and dryers been around forever which they haven't but you know it just takes me back to the days unplugged my aunt has a hand um a crank washer on the porch Man, they were washing clothes out in the creek, on rocks. You know, I, I don't let things stop me. If I have to throw them in the bathtub, I'm good, as long as they're clean. Okay? I'm not panicking. But um, it is a little convenient to have one. So that's why I said I will forego any other special treat. And this, that, and other. And what is today? It's Monday. I don't do Black Friday, but Black Friday is coming up. See, stuff like that, I wouldn't even dare because this is what I want. This is what I need. So, um, I have to keep something aside always for this type of thing, any kind of maintenance. But I have cleaned out the laundry room, basically. I had not showed you guys this side. I'm going to show you the whole room, though. But the, um, I just moved the, the dryer and... I need to move the washer or either just let them move it I just have not completely disconnected the holes yet that's the only reason why I didn't move it but um it's a pretty big room let me show you my basket see my basket or my my hamper that's why I don't I need it I need it <laughs> it's full it's overflowing let me show you the basket though because I stopped doing laundry since I had other stuff to do. But I'm going to fold this stuff up and get it done. It's really not a whole lot. And you guys know the kids help. And because the laundry goes in here, there's nowhere to take it. We're just going to fold it up in here. And they're going to put it in their drawers. There's a basket. And I took out the boxes. There's a couple boxes still in here. But I took out the boxes. And, um, yeah cleaned it all up but here's the dryer I'm gonna get that stuff off the dryer and so I did I moved the dryer already and basically I am going to um, sell them because they still work and I, all I have to do is disclose that the dry the washer needs a lid switch which is not major but um, they have to stay in the house and I'm don't have because we don't have a garage and this room is big enough um, I'm grateful to just have to be able to move the stuff across the room so let me show you what I'm doing so this wall this other wall so that's why I said this room is so big and the neat thing about this room um, this room was an addition to this house this whole side of the house was 
there's so much wall space i've been contemplating um wall shelves because i see so much space up here it's just i have the kids uh you know little storage drawers down on the bottom but there's so much wall space up here i could do a lot in here if i wanted to if i had to move any of the school books or you know library whatever i could do that i could um, i've been contemplating a pantry we don't have a lot of shelving in the kitchen cabinets so I was contemplating a stand-up unit that'll probably go somewhere like right here on this wall next to the shelf here because um, some of the stuff in the box that's left in here one of two three of them the big one on the floor has kitchen stuff the other two are empty but um, <laughs> some of that stuff in that big box is um, dishes so I need to uh, really be able to put that stuff up. Dishes and uh, some pots and pans. So this would be a good place for that because the cabinets, I don't have a lot of cabinet space. Or I could just use the cabinets in the kitchen for the, the um, pots and pans and make a little a pantry. Because that's what I did in the last house. I had a bookcase which I've rehoused and the bookcase was the pantry basically. So yeah. Possibilities. Yeah, we them kids. But other than that, I'm not I'm basic. I stopped decorating stuff a long time ago. <laughs> which is why there's nothing in here, but um yeah. This is it. It is what it is. So I'm gonna tackle this laundry situation and I'm cool waiting on my new stuff but I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once we get the new stuff in in, um, in a couple of hours or so all right so I'm back everything look good right yeah this would happen to me all right yeah such is life the um let me look at this he switched the, I think it would fit, I don't know. He turned the washer this way because he said the hose, because of where the drainage is, it would um, wrap around the the washer. He didn't want it to pinch, but I don't know. It does give me a little more space this way, so we'll have to see. But where's the dryer? They were getting ready to pull it off the truck and freight damaged. Are you serious? Do you know how bad and how long I've been waiting to wash? And I have to wait even longer, y'all. I'm grateful, but goodness. So, they, uh, this part on the dryer, the whole, the whole panel was disconnected. It was hanging on by one side. And I'm like, y'all didn't see that at the store. So... They tell me before seven I'm having have my dryer. So but here's the washer. I'm still unbalanced. But um looking good. So something that works. That's all I needed. <laughs> something that works. That's cute though. Yeah, cute. All right, so <laughs> this is actually tomorrow. Yeah, I left off last night and I didn't come back because it was late and I was trying to get a start on the laundry. But let me show you. Let's see, laundry. Here's my dryer. So, yeah, I've been doing laundry, y'all. <laughs> and I finally emptied the hamper and i got everything caught up it did not take the 24 hours this time um and that i really want to stress again was because i do laundry every day and everything was pretty much clean i don't know how those that have uh just a particular day and they do laundry you know on friday or saturday or sunday my goodness can you tell your appliances 
what day to break down. <laughs> um, yeah, that would have been disastrous, it, you know, even more so than just, you know, being without. Because if it happens to break on your wash day, everybody has no clothes. So, note to you, it's a good idea to wash every day. <laughs> Just in case you never can be too prepared. That's Girl Scout model I was trained on. <laughs> but oh, yeah, here's what we were working with. But got all this stuff hung up and now I need to just go put it in the closet. And um, it's working beautifully. 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 I'm just not so sure I'm fond of this washer turn this way I still may have to look at it and see if I can um, the hose actually reaches I think it does because the other one was just fine so I don't know if it, the hose is shorter on this set or on this washer I don't know but um it's not that big a deal but cool deal don't you see the little features on here I mean, this one is actually different because it's just a push button, whereas the other one's old style. But um, as long as it gets the job done, I'm happy. I'm not on the outside in the creek over the rocks. I'm fine. <laughs> I am happy. I am satisfied. The drop in the bucket. <laughs> Wash every day.